Welcome to my unboxing and first look at the MSI Radeon 7850 Power Edition. Remember, Power Edition cards feature enhanced thermal performance with Twin Frozer coolers. This one has the Twin Frozer 4 and triple over voltage enhanced PWM design. So what does an enhanced PWM design mean? Basically, better voltage regulation for the memory as well as the GPU core and full support for triple over voltage. So triple over voltage basically amounts to being able to overvolt the GPU, the PLL, and the memory through MSI Afterburner software. So we've got a mini display port to full size display port adapter included, DVI to VGA adapter included, some useless discs and manuals, and if you really need to know how to install a graphics card at this point, then uh, I have a video about that, so don't worry too much about the paper manual that comes with your graphics card. You've got a dual Molex to six pin PCIe connector because this is a 7850, so you only need one of them. It's a very small, very compact card, and so you can quite plainly tell that MSI has done up their own. Yeah, come on. Yeah, see the. PCI bracket punctured the uh, bag, so I couldn't get it out. Um, so MSI has done completely their own custom PCB in order to build a beefier PWM as well as just generally a better board for more overclocking goodness. So this is more of a value-oriented card. This is like value gaming, not uh, not like value card. So you're still going to get dramatically better performance than you'd get with any kind of an onboard or like, you know, ghetto low end card solution, but you're not going to pay a boatload for it. And the great thing about their power edition cards is that while they do cost a little bit more than reference cards, it's not that much considering the extra benefit. So you got the twin frozer four cooler, which basically means on this particular version, this is a small, I mean, this is a low power chip and everything. You've got three heat pipes that are fanning out to, uh, sort of a radiator style here get to you guys a better angle at radiator style aluminum fins that cover the entire length and width of the PCB very very nice very good cooling you've also got check this out so this piece right here is actually fully attached to here I'm gonna try and get you guys like an angle can you see in there can you see the full um, unisync that's covering the entire card so that gives this card a lot of rigidity like check this out there's no flex to it it gives it, okay, well, okay, there is if I grab the cooler, but if you actually take the PCB, compared to a regular card, it's very rigid, it's very strong. So it, you have the cooling benefit of having a heatsink over the, all the RAM chips and PWM, and then you've also got the benefit of once you install it in the card, it's not going to sag like a lot of cards do because they have that flex. So I really like that about uh, this particular design that we've seen on some of MSI's recent cards. The Twin Frozer 4 has a lot of different things going for it. So it's got heat pipes, it's got dual fans, it's got uh, propellant blades which basically amount to more airflow and they will spin in reverse at the beginning this is the feature of the twin frozer 4 in order to remove dust from the fins before turning around and spinning the other way to actually cool the card so you'll notice when you first boot it up it's quite loud but that's normal it's trying to blow all the dust out of it before it actually starts cooling the card this will mean that you won't have to clean this card out as often as you would with a normal one I also love the look of their twin frozer cards so they've got like you know the MSI sort of silver or black thing going on usually a little color accent thing like that looks really really sharp um okay in terms of overall features of the board so it's a little slower than a 7870 but given the difference in price it's definitely justifiable it also only uses a single pcie six pin yeah, pci power connector so that's a six pin right there not even an eight pin it has full support for ifinity so it supports up to four displays you got two mini display ports on this card hdmi and dvi out so Actually, I think it, in theory, supports more than that if you daisy chain uh, additional displays. But let's go ahead and say four at least for now. In fact, let's have a look at what uh, MSI has to say about the card. So you've got AMD Affinity, HD3D, which we've tried in the... Uh, we've got 4K support which is actually really cool. So you can drive a 4K display off this card. That's new with the 7,000 generation of cards. Deep color and three gigahertz. K Dolby True and Media Play, Power Play, Power Tune. Ah, yes, 28 nanometer process technology. So this is an extremely power efficient card and performance and overclocking are outstanding given that the price that you're looking at is also fully PCI Express 3.0 compliant, which for a card like this is not going to amount to any kind of a performance delta. But I mean, there you have it. If you have a PCIe 3 board and you really want a PCIe 3 card, you can put this in it. You've also got full support for AMD Crossfire, 
It's two-way only, not three-way, so bear that in mind. There's only one crossfire set of crossfire fingers up at the top, and I think that pretty much covers it. Thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at the 7850 Power Edition from MSI. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.